scientific studies indicate that Tyrannosaurus rex may not actually have been the tyrant king of prehistoric animals. Despite being a gigantic and really aggressive carnivore, it shared the supremacy as a predator with other dinosaurs as ferocious and even having to fight with others on its own species to survive in such a hostile environment. What enemies did Tyrannosaurus rex have? Thanks to current science and technology, paleontologists have been able to elucidate some of the great mysteries of the most lethal saurian of the earth. It had a privileged view, like that of an eagle, which allowed it to see its prey miles away, stalking silently. Its nose had a range of 8 kilometers of perception and its teeth, sharp as chisels and up to 30 centimeters long, turned its bite into an absolutely lethal biological weapon. This prehistoric killer, with all its impressive characteristics, was without a doubt the predator that dominated the land at the end of the Cretaceous period, approximately 66 million years ago. However, there is forensic evidence that shows that the Tyrannosaurus rex could become prey to other creatures, or at least have had the need to defend themselves with all their might from the attacks of other predators. So, what enemies did it have? Who was able to hunt to the maximum hunter of the Cretaceous? Well, definitely the fact that the Tyrannosaurus rex is one of the last terrestrial species that existed before the mass extinction of the Cretaceous tertiary allowed us to conclude that it could have had other Tyrannosaurus rex as enemy. And is that, perhaps to defend their territory and remain the tyrant king of the Cretaceous period, the T-Rex may have had enemies as dinosaurs of their own species, equally in need to feed their heavy bodies. Both aggressive, carnivorous and eager to dominate, it could have faced multiple times and become real enemies, especially knowing that they remained in packs of the same family, and that it was a species that had no fear of its largest prey, the Triceratops. That leads us to its second proven enemy, the Triceratops. Its name comes from the Greek tri, which means three, and ceres, which means horns, and tops, that means face. Since its three horns were its most peculiar feature, they were stout and walked on their four legs and lived with the T-Rex. In fact, there is some paleontological evidence that indicates that Triceratops knew how to defend itself very well from the Tyrannosaurs, and it's possible that they fought on many occasions to finally end up extinguishing themselves. But the real threat that a Tyrannosaurus might have had is perhaps this next species, the Nanotyrannus. It is believed that the Nanotyrannus was a small version of the T-Rex and that it fed on small Tyrannosaurus, which was a real threat to the Tyrannosaurus rex. It was known as the diminutive Tyrannosaurus and it measured about 5 meters long, but despite being classified as a new species, some studies seem to indicate that instead of a different species, it was actually a young Tyrannosaurus rex 